Some also claim that Japanese or American cars are the only options for functional oversteer. This is also not true. Here at Drift Club, we find drift machines in all sorts of odd places. Sweden, for instance. This is the Volvo 242 Turbo Evolution, featuring a few little adjustments of my own. I think you'll find it more than adequate. Course is laid out, though uh, you're welcome to have a little fun on the way. That machine is capable of more, and so are you. my point. People think drifting is simply losing control of the vehicle, when in fact you are delicately balancing traction loss with grip. It's a carefully controlled loss of control, is what I'm saying. Joel tells me there are drift clubs popping up all over the continent. Berlin, Paris, Amsterdam. I didn't start those ones. Did you start those ones? Should I send them the newsletter? <clears throat> In any case, meet the classic 1969 Mustang Boss. An incredible machine. And that was before they let yours truly under the hood. These long country drives are perfect for spreading drift club far and wide. So if you can make your way to Broadway for me, please. Yeah. <laughs> 
Matsu Takahashi, he invented drifting because he was winning all of his races and he wanted a bit of a challenge. That's what I like to see. Now I would like to see more, please. There you have it. Drifting is about entertainment, not just engineering. Some members of our club are a little too fixated on the technical details of drifting, if you ask me. I like the back end work particularly. Easy now, coming up on my favorite sequence, the technical bit with lots of tight turns. In 400 meters, turn left. Turn left. Meters, turn right. Turn right. Well now. The spirit of Mr. Takahashi is alive and well in Horizon Drift Club. Well, the spirit of Robert Glenn is more than happy endlessly fiddling with his engine and suspension. Thank you very much. You seem to enjoy your trip through Edinburgh, so we should try that again. Traffic is always light in the morning, so you should have the roads practically to yourself. And I'd like to send you in this. Third gen RX-7 sequential twin turbochargers on a front engine rear wheel configuration. It's rather good, if you like that sort of thing. You should know the way. Though, of course, you're welcome to use the sat-nav. Sorry, I'm not sure why I said that. is capable of more, and so are you. Traffic is generally light in the mornings, but I've had a friend on the council close down the roads for us, so it really won't be an issue. Sorry, uh, no, I'm not sure why I said that either.
certainly can't do that with engineering alone. Drift, if I might be allowed a little joke at the expense of the film industry. I think we've done it. Everyone is talking about Drift Club. It's been on the radio, and I've been hearing the clubs cropping up all over the place. To celebrate it, though, I've got something really spectacular. We are standing in the presence of the Shelby Cobra 427. In my opinion, as close to heaven as you'll ever drive. This one belongs to Ms. Dawson, who is something of a petrol head, if I may be so bold, and a real connoisseur of British automobiles. And you will be driving it up to the Horizon Festival and into the drift circle in the middle of the festival. I must say, I'm quite jealous. like to see. Now, I would like to see more, please.
atmosphere. Oh, keep it together now, Robert. And the whole world watching. I can, I can barely breathe. Fabulous. Drift clubbers, take note. There's more where this came from. Flipping heck, this has really been quite the journey, isn't it? And may I add that it has been a personal honour to see you in action. So, after a discussion with the other members of the club, we'd like to extend you personal membership for life, mind. Of Drift Club. So, don't forget to subscribe, live long and prosper. See you next time.